Hey everyone. So in the following video, we'll go through some of the page templates that are offered within the level theme. So essentially, as you may know, we already have several pre-made templates for you. We have an about page template, blog post, contact form, a regular full width page, a simple gallery page, latest galleries, latest videos, and then a simple video page as well. So we'll just go through all of these page templates and briefly explain what some of your options are for customizing them. So we'll start off with the default template uh, really means that this page is just completely blank. There's really nothing to it, no structure. You can customize it as you wish on your own. Um, if you are familiar with how to use flow short codes, you can do that um, or you can just customize using some of the basic WordPress settings. So at this point, let's just go ahead and um, get a new page up. So we'll title this new page. And uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and publish this page. All right, so here we have new page. And if we click on, let's click on view page. Let me close this one here. All right, so here we have new page. As you see, there's really no content within this page. We just have the title and then we have the social sharing options. And then you can add images. Uh, you can add text, videos, etc., into this body of content. You can select some of the slideshow options that are offered. You can enable or disable the title and social media sharing and uh, enable or disable these discussions. So um, the default template is, is flexible enough. However, uh, it may be easier to choose some of the pre-made templates um, if you want to do less, uh, a little bit less work. So let's just go on over to the about template and take a look at essentially what it has to offer. So now that we've selected the about template, as you see here, we have several options uh, removed from the default template. We actually have the ability to upload a featured image. And uh, this featured image will just be on the side of our on the side of our page. And at this point, what I also want to do is just add some basic text to uh, my about page. So I'll just add my text over here. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on update and see what we come up with. All right, so as you see here, I have my featured image, I have my page title, and then I have this text over here. Now further down below, we have several other options. We can enable or disable this page title, which at this point I want to leave this, but I want to disable my social media sharing. Uh, next off, I also want to disable my discussions because it's not necessary to have them on the about page. I'll close these revisions as well. And then we also have uh, this sidebar area, which is related to this area over here. Now what this does, it gives you the ability to write some short, brief information and link a button to it. So for example, um, I'll just write here, um, connect via Facebook. All right, so now I want to add the link for my button, and this will be just the default link from Facebook. And then I want to add a short description. So at this point, what I want to do is just copy and paste this text that I used over here. But it'll be a shortened version of it. All right, and let's just go ahead and click on update and see what we come up with now. All right, so as you see here, our page changed slightly. We still have this featured image. We have the page title, we have this description, but then we also have a short text, and then we have this button over here where it says connect via Facebook. So once we click on this button, it takes us to Facebook. So these are some of the customizations you have for the About page. All right, so let's head on over to a different page template, and this will be blog posts. So essentially, blog posts is really just a page that displays your latest blog posts. Um, as we went over some of the blog post settings uh, within the blog post video settings, uh, you can take a look at that video. It'll be in the video description below. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just talk a little bit more about some of the settings offered for the blog post. But essentially, to give you a brief understanding, if we'll click, click on update, we'll refresh this page. You'll see that our page loads every single blog post that we've uploaded to the website so far. Of course, we have to customize it by choosing its layouts and so forth. And you have some of these options over here. For example, just like a basic grid view. And then you can click on update. We'll refresh this. And here we have a grid view. 
But as I mentioned, other options for the blog post or for the blog page settings can be done, uh, can be viewed at the video description below. You can have that link over there. All right, so next off, our next page will be a simple contact form. So let's just go ahead and click on update and see some of the options we have for our contact form. So let's just refresh this page. All right, so now, the, now we need to add content for our contact form. So essentially, one, as soon as we switch over to the contact form template, we still have the ability to showcase a slideshow. Um, if that would be required, we have the ability to adjust our navigation menu, whether it be below or under the slideshow. And then we have our contact form information. So let's just type in our contact form email, and this will be info at flowthemes.com contact phone, we'll just add these number over here, contact form title, um, just, let's just um, title this as some title, we'll skip this one, and then thank you message, thank you for your email, which is um, shown on the screen once users submit their, um, their email to you. All right, so now that we've added some very basic information, let's go ahead and click on update. And we'll refresh this page and see what we come up with now. All right, so as you see here, we still have this featured image, and then we have a very basic contact form. So we have this text where it says email us at info@flowthemes.com, call us, and then the number I've added, and then we have some of the general fields for your contact form. Uh, there are also other ways to customize your contact form uh, by just using a default page template but uh, once again we'll ask you to go to YouTube and uh, just take a quick look at some of these videos here if you find flow themes customizing your contact form and then we also have another video with a visual form builder that also explains the process of how to customize your contact form but I will send you these links um, also within the video description below all right, so let's head on over to a different page template and we'll just take a look at the full width page and see what it really looks like. So we'll click on update. We'll go here, refresh this page again. So as you see here, full width page, uh, the page really expands from one side of the screen to the other. If, uh, for, if we want to add text to this page, we'll just take a quick look at what it looks like here. So as you see here, we have this image and then we have some basic text. So uh, this page can have its purposes if that would be required. Um, but once again, it's also something you have to play around and customize. Uh, and once again, some of these basic customizations are available to you. All right. Uh, so next off, let's just head on over to our gallery page. And at this point for the gallery page, we want to remove this featured image and um, we want to also remove this page and let's click on update. All right, so for the gallery page, we have a completely blank page at this point. And uh, what we want to do now is actually select a specific gallery for this page. So you can just start typing in any title for this page. And in order to do that, let me just go over here and see what, our, what some of our titles look like. So we have new gallery title we can start typing in. So as soon as I start typing in my gallery title, the system already pre-selects or predetermines um, the gallery you're typing in. So once I've selected my gallery, I'll just click on update and uh, let's just go here, refresh this page. All right, so now that we've entered our gallery page, you see that it's just a simple page um, with images or just a simple gallery page so we can scroll through these images. All right, so next off, uh, let's just take a quick look at a different page template and it will be latest galleries. Uh, so for the latest galleries, essentially these pages are completely different. A simple gallery page and latest galleries. Latest galleries shows all of the latest gallery posts you've uploaded to the website. Once again, you can customize them as you wish, and we do have a separate video overview of the gallery settings, which is also in the video description below. So take a quick look at that video, and uh, it will give you all of the options, but just to give you a quick preview, once we select this page template, let's go ahead and update it. We'll refresh this page. 
and here we have the gallery page. Alright, so this page essentially displays every single gallery post that you've uploaded to the website. You also have the ability of uh, hand-picking several categories that you want to display within that page. And um, so for example, if you're dividing your categories into weddings and personal shoots or um, children's or boudoir or whatever it may be, you can add all of these categories and just handpick the categories you want to display within a specific page. Alright, so finally let's head on over to a different page template. And at this point we'll take a look at latest videos. And once again, latest videos follows the same structure and concept as blog posts or latest galleries. Um, it just displays some of the very uh, latest videos that you've uploaded to the website. So we'll refresh this page and as you see here we have several video options come up. If we just click on this page we'll see uh, the videos that have been uploaded to the website. Alright, and finally uh, let's take a quick look at this video page. And essentially this page template just um, is like a simple gallery page. You just start typing in your video title and you can also set a featured image for this page but other than that this page is fairly easy and simple there's nothing too complex about it so uh, other than that we've pretty much covered the entire overview of our page templates and um, we do hope this video helps thanks